YouTube, what is up guys? So this is my 1001th video. Yeah, I talk like that. <laughs> 1000 first might be a more normal way of saying that, and the correct way. But yeah, 1000 videos, uh, and I know it's not a crazy thing because anyone can technically upload like 1000 five second horrible videos, but I put a lot of work into mine and I've been doing this for a long time, so I wanted to do more than just the highlight reel that I always do, which came out this morning if you haven't seen it. So I wanted to take a second and just talk about seven of my favorite YouTube videos that I've done, which was really hard by the way, because it's kind of hard out of a thousand to say, hey, I like these, and I mean, I like all the videos I put up. Every single video I put up, I believe in, and there's a reason that I do that. But these seven videos kind of mean something. So I'm gonna go through these, talk about them real quick, and then at the end, you'll have a chance to click on them and go watch them. And before I get started, I just wanna say thank you once again. Uh, you guys rock for watching my videos. I love you dudes and dudettes. And uh, I just, I'm so thankful that I have people that actually want to watch me act like a Ringo here on the internet. So thank you for watching, and here are seven of my favorite YouTube videos that I've done. You come back, baby hedgehogs. That's right. Video number one is We Want Revenge 20, and this is probably my most popular series here on YouTube, and I love this series. It's kind of like my baby because like every single episode I do, and I've done over 40 of them now, is just, it's, I still care so much about what I'm doing. And what I want to do with this series is capture like what it is to go out and skate and have fun and be a goof with your friends. So uh, I, I feel like we Are Revenge 20 was the turning point where I put it together and I was like, oh my gosh, this, this, this flows, it feels really good, and it just kind of came together a lot better, and that kind of set the standard then on out for how I do We Are Revenges. So this was kind of a turning point when it came to that series, and the way I do a lot of my videos, um, I was really, really proud of that, vi that video. I, I swore it was going to go viral, I was like, man, this is a new type of skate video, and uh, I don't know, I'm really proud of it, so We Are Revenge number one. No, We Are Revenge 20 is my number one video, and uh, it captures skateboarding, goofing around with your friends, all that fun stuff, and if you watch my channel, you probably already know and have seen it, but We Are Revenge 20, number one. My second video is an old skit. Like, I, when I look back on some of my old videos, especially my skits, I'm like, this is kind of embarrassing. Well, this skit, I mean, it, it is embarrassing, but I still to this day laugh at it, you know, and I'm re really proud of it, and I wish I could do more skits like this, um, but it is my soap opera audition tape, boom. It's right over there. It's probably been there the whole time floating next to my head. It's such a goofy thing. Like, I got the idea, for, and then I filmed it right there. So I, there was no planning, much like a lot of my skits, but there's no planning at all, and I did it, and I'm like, this is weird. And my friend, uh, Kyle Mashino, Bangarang, he helped me with it, and uh, it, was, it was awesome. It was, it was just, it came out well. We were cracking up the entire time. We had a blast filming it. And uh, if you haven't seen some of my older weird skits, that's a good one to watch. It, it is weird, by the way, but... Uh, <laughs> I've always planned on doing a third one too, so I might bring that back, but it'll be a little better produced. So number two video is my soap opera audition tape featuring Chaz McLaren, who's kind of a weird guy. All right, my third video is something I didn't even have to think twice about putting on the list. I knew it was gonna be there. It's a video that I posted when my son Ryden was born. The best day of my entire life, easy. And, uh, the, but the funny story is that Ryden had to get shipped off to a different hospital when he was born. He had to go to a children's hospital which had a better uh, intensive care unit for, for infants, and I went with him. Unfortunately, my wife was, had to stay at the hospital where he was born. She wasn't able to move, and she had to kind of relax and gain her strength back. So uh, when she woke up the next morning, she, you know, I wanted her to be able to see him, so what I did is I didn't go to sleep at all. Like, I just stared at that little dude, told him how much I loved him, and then I had a bunch of footage from the whole night and uh, him, you know, at the new hospital. So I went on and made this video at like 6 in the morning. He was born at like 9 o'clock at night, and we got to the new hospital at like midnight or 1 a.m., and I just stayed up with him, and then I eventually made this video at 6 a.m., and I posted it online for everyone to see, but more importantly, it was for my wife, so she could, get, you know, wake up and just see a, this footage of our son, and uh, I don't know, it just it hits me in the heart. I love this guy more than anything, and I want the whole world to know it. Ryden, when you're watching this when you're older, I love you, buddy. Always, every day, until the dawn of, until the dawn of time, until the dawn of time, to the end of time, all of time. But my third video is uh, Today My Son Was Born. So check it out, it's right over there, it's been over there. My fourth video is yet another skit, and this is the last skit I'm gonna put on this list, but uh, it's uh, a skit that I did kind of making fun of how people abuse the breast cancer awareness products, and uh, my friend Nick Mitchell and I did it, and, and it was such a blast filming. I kind of thought it was lame that a lot of companies just made a pink product and said, oh yeah, we'll donate to breast cancer in hopes to sell more product. I mean, granted, they probably do help out breast cancer, but it's like, I feel like a lot of companies do it to profit themselves, which is the wrong reason. So we made a skit kind of making fun of this, and uh, of course, you know, we actually, the proceeds from that skit went to breast cancer, 100% of it. I wrote a check and I went and uh, did a fundraiser for a breast cancer skit too. So I actually was like for the cause and whatnot. So it wasn't just blatantly making fun of that. But I spent nine hours straight editing this. And uh, I just remember it being like 5 a.m. And Nick Mitchell and I were still awake just like just 
tears pouring down her eyes. We were just so tired and like, you know, when you, you slap happy, you're so tired. And it was like that. It was the funniest. Nobody will ever laugh at this skit as much as we did when we were editing it. But it was an awesome time and I would love to do more skits like that. So check it out. It was actually featured in a comedy show here uh, in Cincinnati one time and uh, it got good feedback. So check it out. It's called the booby saving video. Breast cancer, everything, whatever you want. Booby saving video right there. My fifth video is actually one of my motivational videos. When I started this whole YouTube thing, I gave myself a three-year date. I was like, within three years, I better be in a different situation in life, kind of striving toward a bigger project. And uh, I knew on August 3rd, I think 2012, I was like, I'm going to make this video. And, uh, I, and when it came around, my life had been different. Like three years later, my life had completely changed. And I wanted to do a video just kind of giving people some like I inspirational words and just saying, hey man, do what you're gonna do. Like live life for yourself and set the goals and reach them. It, it's really cheesy, but it, I meant it from the bottom of my heart. And it, it's kind of my attitude towards life. Definitely one of the videos that I'm more proud of. So uh, click it, it's called Never Give Up. And, uh, and it's, it's, yeah, it's one of those videos that I kind of want to get out there. I don't think I got like a crazy ton of hits, but, um, it means something to me. So I had to put it on this list. My sixth video is another skate video and it's, and it's around the same time that I made that goal that I was talking about. I started to get focused on YouTube and I knew I was going to do a lot of skate videos. I was going to put my personality and talk into skate videos. And, uh, I was like, well, I want to kind of get all of my footage out there so people can see what I'm all about. So what I did is I took like my, the best of tricks that I'd ever done up until that point in my life and I made a video part, and I called it my YouTube skate part. And it just kind of reminds me of the old times. I used to do a lot of bigger rails back then. I used to jump down bigger gaps, and it was just, that's how I want to skate. I mean, unfortunately, I'm getting older, and it's kind of hard to even make time to stay on top of my gap game and my hand road game. So uh, when I watch this video part, I'm like, man, that is the skating I want to do. So hopefully I can still get up to that level for my next video part and do some bigger stuff. But um, either way, that has the stuff that when I used to do it all the time. I used to skate every day and try to find the biggest rails to skate. A lot of you guys probably don't even know that I used to do all that stuff. Check it out, and I hope you guys dig it. That is the YouTube skate part. And the last one is a prank video. I had to include pranks because uh, I've been kind of bad about doing pranks lately, but pranks used to be a big part of my channel. Uh, I used to do it like, like four a year. And uh, this is the Falling Skateboarder 4, which uh, I think is the best Falling Skateboarder. Uh, three was pretty good for different reasons, but four, I, got, I did went to a college, and I was like dropping stuff as I fell, and I had a lot of fun doing it, of course. So... That one is probably my favorite, uh, if I had to narrow it down, that's why I picked it. I actually do have an idea for a new prank video, and that hopefully I'll be able to get out and film that within like the next month or so. But either way, Fong Skateboarder 4, definitely one of the best ones I've done. And uh, it's, basically, it's, it's not really a prank video, it's just, it's, that's what I named the series when I started doing it, so I just kept it going. It's me just falling in front of people in public. I mean, I get reactions and whatnot, and it's funny, but I wouldn't call it a prank, it's more like a social haha -ha on those people. But either way, Fong Seaboard 4, you'll probably get a kick. And uh, I do a lot of other pranks, so go to the, the playlist on my front page and uh, you can see all the other stuff I got into. But that is it, guys. That's the seven videos that I kind of wanted to feature and talk about. I hope you guys liked hearing uh, me chat about it and whatnot. But um, I want to say thank you once again. I'm gonna, I will literally try to make 1,000 more videos and uh, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I'm gonna, I'm having a blast making all this stuff, so I, there's no reason to change it. I love my life. So. Uh, thank you. I hope you guys keep watching, and uh, all the stuff will be linked here in a second. It'll flash, and you get to pick one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. <laughs> Believe it or not. Thank you so much, and uh, subscribe for more of the stuff that you just saw slash heard about. <laughs> You're a blue sharpie. I meant to throw it that way. <laughs> <laughs>